Hello everyone, welcome to Healing Moon Tarot. This is a, a random reading for, a random love reading for a Leo. So your next love interest and what it is that you need to know. Your next love interest and what it is you need to know. So I do see the Queen of Wands. Now this could be yourself, or if you're a master and watching this, this is your next love interest. Someone who's naturally creative, very definitely determined, someone who knows what they want, they're not afraid to go for it. Yeah, I see the Knight of Cups. <laughs> so if this is yourself, I do see someone maybe wanting to ask you out. This is someone who will decide when they're ready to ask you out or how they feel. They're just kind of exploring those feelings right now. But it looks like someone's going to ask you out or you're going to, and it's more than likely somebody who could take the lead. If you're a masculine, they may ask you out. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, definitely someone who's single, enjoying the fruits of their labor. So definitely it could be somebody just wanting, exploring this, having a conversation, taking action to communicate, to find out if someone is single. So it's definitely a single person. Yeah, I see the chariot, some cancer energy, full steam ahead. It's an energy of control. Okay, someone here is trying to kind of control their feelings. So and I feel it's an energy of letting go of control too. And it's an energy of letting someone take the lead. Now this is, the Queen of Wands is also a natural born leader. So masculine or feminine energy regardless, King or Queen of Wands, you know, these are leaders. But this is about control. This is someone moving forward with confidence. This is someone who's determined. So I do feel it's someone who's determined to find out if someone is single. <laughs> I see the star, someone letting go of control. So if you are uh, a feminine watching this, let go of control. Let this person decide when they're ready. Okay, they have, give them, it's an energy of just dating, courting, communicating, you know, taking action, but it's someone who knows the right person will wait till they're ready. Let go of control. Okay, if you are a feminine watching this, it's telling you to, but let this person, let them be the one, you know, to take the lead here. So it's a star. So someone's hopes and dreams. They're hoping this is successful. So someone with a lot of willpower, they're trying to not let their emotions get the best of them. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So it's an energy of a single person, someone enjoying the fruits of their labor. This is someone's hopes and dreams, is to partner up, to have a partner. Someone stable, reliable, dependable, someone who has their best interest at heart. So, you know, if you want someone to see you, the feminine is someone who has, you know, you want this person to see you as you know, someone who has their best interest, let go of control. Don't be ruled by your emotions, okay? Let them take the lead because it could be something that's not serving you. But I do feel this is someone who's, you know, it's their hopes and dreams here is to partner up. So, you know, six of cups, someone longing for love. <laughs> Somebody longing for love. Yeah. And we have five of swords. So there's a little trust issues maybe because of past energy. You can probably hear my bird singing in the background. I have a new baby bird and it's calling for me, but I've been giving it tons of attention. So yeah, it's out there singing away. So we have someone who has a little bit of trust issues. Okay, so it's an energy. It takes someone time to trust somebody. So if you try to control everything, this is someone who becomes apprehensive. But you can see slow and steady wins the race. This person's planning ahead. They're kind of looking ahead. So, and I also feel an energy of communication, miscommunication, mixed messages, okay? So I feel it's just letting this person take the lead if you're the feminine. But if you are, uh, you know, and if you are a masculine watching this, it's about communicating, okay? Talking, taking action to communicate, to come in, okay? To take that lead, to release uh, the energy of putting on the brakes, okay? Of controlling your emotions too much, so... It's all about control one way or another but it's about taking things slow yeah this is someone focused a lot on their money their finances so this is someone who has some trust issues a little bit here maybe because of something that happened in the past but it's a person longing for love and i feel they just want to take it slow yeah very interesting yeah. four of cups see this is someone here who 
has missed opportunities too, possibly because trust. They could be looking at the situation, assessing it. It's often someone who just puts on the brakes and assesses. Maybe they're trying to control their feelings too much or they put on the brakes because you are the one. The feminine is what is trying to control things. So it's all about the control and releasing. It's in the heart of the reading. This is about both people, just different ways of control. So this is someone who has trust issues. They may have had someone who tried to control them before this is someone who doesn't want to be controlled we know the queen of wands definitely doesn't like to be controlled but sometimes end up being the one taking control taking the lead so yeah because i do see hopes and dreams see it's an energy of someone who maybe feels like someone's out of their league they're putting on the brakes they're not so sure they trust this situation so this is someone just kind of assessing it looking at it so i do feel there's someone going to put on the brakes and assess this Kind of look at it. It's a temporary energy. See, it's whether or not they're going to miss an opportunity. So someone who just is going to, I feel, follow their heart. Yeah, because that's what this Four of Cups is. Someone who will decide when they're ready. See, following their heart, following their knowing. Yeah, so they. this is someone who knows they could miss an opportunity because of trust issues. So it's definitely someone who's had some a situation with someone who tried to control everything or they tried to control their emotions so much that they, you know, missed an opportunity and got rejected. So you see that? <laughs> yeah, so I really feel it's just an energy. It's just taking your time a little bit here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, see, it's about talking, communicating, maybe being friends first. It's about seeing eye to eye. So, like I say, I feel like both of you, see, controlling the emotions. See, one person's in more of a hurry. They're more determined to get this going, but it's not serving them. Because the other person's not, as they don't move as fast. They're not as ready. They're just exploring the feelings, you see. But I feel it's just about talking and seeing eye to eye. I feel like you could. Yeah, see, there it is. <laughs> yeah, you know the Queen of Rods is someone who knows what they want and doesn't settle. So I do see an energy of two single people, but different energies of control here. Let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who takes care of themselves, very independent. Now, often this is a person who comes across as really independent. They're in charge of their life. They're in control. It's not serving. So if you want to connect with this person, Okay, feminine's watching this. It's an energy of letting go a little bit of control. Let this person take the lead. Okay, you know, it's an, I, I feel it's just someone here who's very independent. See, this is someone who probably feels they need to be needed. They're not needed. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. So, yeah, but I feel it's just, you know, it's an energy of someone wanting to know if someone's single. Definitely, I see a single person. Yeah, see, we have an emperor also single. Now, this is also an Aries energy, but it could be, an, an emperor can be anyone. But it's about, um, I feel being very, very independent. That's what it is. See, I feel it's an energy of being in control. Used to be in control of your own life. Don't like to be controlled. But this person has a similar energy. Now, this is the energy that we're dealing with right now. It's a lot of Mars energy. There's a lot of Aries energy right now. It's about being bold, being determined to take the lead. It's about releasing things that no longer serve. So I feel both people here. Yeah. Let's have a look at the chariot. There we go. See, it's energy of someone seeing the truth. This is also someone coming up with some kind of idea. See, they know. See the truth. It's about letting go of the control. Let this person take the lead. Let them feel at least like they're in control. Because this person also has that energy. See, they don't like to be controlled anymore. But it has to do with independence. This is someone definitely looking. They're seeing the independence. They're not needed. <laughs> so it's all about the truth. Let's have a look at the star. Yeah, this is someone who likes to be needed, but it is an energy of a power struggle here. Yeah, see, taking things slow, easing your way into it, looking at the situation. Slow and steady wins the race. See, I feel it's both of you just sort of assessing the situation. You could miss an opportunity here. It's, it's about partnering up, whether someone's stable, reliable, dependable, whether, see, someone has trust issues, whether someone has their best interest at heart. Now, it could be yourself coming across as very independent, that you don't need anybody. You don't, you know, you're in control. You've got it all going. You know, I see victory, success, 
but is someone here seeing the truth? The light bulb's going off. Now, I do think this person's coming up with some kind of idea here. And I do think there's going to be some kind of communication about just kind of taking it slow. See, they're going to ask you out, but it has to do with this person letting go of trust issues as well. They may have dealt, this is someone who may have dealt with, you know, somebody here um, with that same energy. I'm seeing the Queen of, of Wands twice. Two, someone who's dealt with someone like that before. <laughs> yeah, see, and it may have come to an end. Someone may have ended something with someone with that energy. Now, it looks like it could be a Scorpio. Yeah, see, it's an ending. Every ending leads to a new beginning. So someone's ending something with somebody who is a Queen of Wands. Okay, or it's yourself, the feminine watching this, ending it with an emperor, someone who's trying to control everything. We know the Queen of Wands does not like to be controlled any more than, you know, the masculine energy does. But I definitely see some Scorpio here. Yeah, it's all in, in Scorpio, it is about change because it is an ending that leads to a beginning. Someone's seeing the truth. They need to let go of control. They need to, you know, it's an energy of someone's hopes and dreams. They want to connect. They want to take someone out. They want to, you know, they want a partner. So this is somebody who's looking to see what someone, you're both doing the same thing, looking to see, you know, it's about power struggle. It's about independence. This so is someone looking at someone who takes care of themselves. They're very independent, but someone has ended something with someone like that before, I feel. So very interesting energy. Let's have a look at this Six of Cups. Yeah, that's trust issues, whether someone has the right intention. See, someone's intentions. Are they stable, reliable, dependable? You know, it has to do with partnering up. This person's not quite ready for that. It's an energy of taming the beast, being confident. See, it has to do with confidence. This person does see confidence, but they're not as confident because they have trust issues. See, and they're looking at it and they do. This is someone who maybe this is something that ended um, where someone feels they missed an opportunity. But I feel it has to do with being confident, taming the beast. Someone's taming the beast. What's the beast control? I feel both people, to be honest, but... We have an emperor who's much more powerful. So I do feel if this is the if you're the masculine uh, watching this, it's also yourself, okay? Letting go of control, putting an end to that. Uh, I do think there's an energy of somebody here, you know, looking to see if someone's single. They want to end their single life. This is someone who doesn't want to be single. <laughs> someone who doesn't want to be single is acting independent like they don't need anybody. And that's what I feel, so... Yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, it all has to do with communication, miscommunication, mixed messages, mixed signals, taming the beast, being confident. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone being cautious, being very careful what they wish for. They don't really take this is someone who takes a little time to trust somebody because they've dealt with this before with another person. So and they could have been, like I say, a Scorpio. But I feel it's an end of the single life too. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so someone who doesn't want to be single yeah there it is the birth of something new the empress is letting this person know you're open see letting now the empress is smart the empress is date, often dated a lot of people had relationships but this is a person who you know it's about letting control letting them think they're in control for that matter <laughs> that's what i feel the empress knows right but it's about being open to this opportunity and not missing the opportunity. But it has to do with someone listening and following their heart and their knowing. See, this is someone who knows. They've dealt with this before. But I do feel it's the end of the single life here. I know it's an interesting read, but this is someone seeing the truth. They need to take the lead. It's letting someone take the lead. I think that for you feminines that are watching, it's letting them. It's because you just know. Okay, the apprehension, but this is someone who's assessing the situation, assessing how they feel, whether someone has the right intentions. This is someone who often takes their time because of that. So, but it's an energy of someone not getting what they want because they have a hard time trusting. Now, it could be yourself, could be them, and maybe even both of you. Yeah, taming the beast, feeling confident, see? It's all energy of being kind and compassionate. But whatever that beast is, it has something to do with someone's past. Someone's longing for love. They want love. 
and they're looking maybe at how something ended or why something ended. It may have to do with a past person, but it's a person who wants love. They're longing for love. Let this person know you're open. Don't be so independent. It's about being vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable. Yeah. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. See, baggage burdens being released. This is beautiful because when this is released, see, baggage burden from a past relationship. It's about being responsible, reliable, and dependable. Someone who pulls their weight. So this could be someone putting on the brakes and seeing it differently. If you have a situation where someone's thinking of end it because you're independent, you're in control, they don't want to be controlled any more than the, the feminine. Yeah. But it has to do with burdens being released, baggage, someone being responsible, reliable. See, it's an urge of someone who feels maybe they missed an opportunity here. But I feel it's more about missing it. It's about, you know, taking responsibility, showing someone you're dependable, that you're a good partner. This is someone trying to show someone they're a good partner because they take charge of situations. They get stuff done. They're determined to succeed. <laughs> you see, this is someone looking at this. But I do see the end of the single life here. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. But, the, you know, the Four of Cups in this deck is listening to my heart, following my knowing. Knowing. Let this person show you they're loyal, they're, you know, they're dependable, what it is they want. But what I feel this person's putting on the brakes on and seeing is so someone who actually pulls their weight. They may have had someone who didn't pull their weight in the past. So they're looking at this different, I feel, because of putting on the brakes. So I like this. And I feel both of you are going to, you know, kind of reassess this. Because it looks like something's getting going and then someone's going, well, they don't really need me. They're very independent, you know. But it's all about control. It's about releasing things that no longer serve. This person needs to let go of, you know, that apprehension, that you know, that slow moving energy. They need to express themselves. They also need to be more vulnerable. Yeah, see, it's exploring the feelings, someone's intentions. Someone's not sure what someone's intentions are here. I mean, if you want to be in control or you, you know, you want everything your way, and I don't really see that because I'm not seeing the four of pentacles where anyone's being stubborn or anything. It's just, I feel it's just an energy of just sort of assessing the whole situation. But I see a reassessment. Because I definitely can see someone putting on the brakes. Maybe even both of you. See, it's a power struggle. Yeah, really, really interesting. But it has to do with someone not getting what they want. They didn't get what they wanted. Because they're being so cautious. They didn't want to be vulnerable. They, because they don't know what someone's intentions are. But I feel the Queen of, of Wands is here showing someone there. They look after themselves. They can take care of themselves. You know, they have everything they need. <laughs> well, then you don't really need anybody. And that's what I feel. So, yeah. But this person's looking at this. They're seeing They're seeing this when putting on the brakes. This is someone who actually pulls their weight. Something that they may not have seen. Listening to their inner knowing. They may have missed an opportunity. But I feel it's someone who, who really doesn't. Because that's why I, sometimes it's good when people put on the brakes a little bit and kind of slow down. They need to kind of assess the situation. And it's sometimes good because I do see truth, victory, and success. Let's have a look at this truth. Truth about control. Yeah, see? This is both people. <laughs> masculine feminine energy so you can flip this but really both people are kind of doing the same thing it's about letting go of control seeing the truth so someone who's determined to have success they are focused on their money they want to be financially successful but they're also looking at this person they're also, you know, if you're the masculine watching this, you're looking at this person, seeing there's someone who pulls their weight. It's not really about control. It's just, just someone who takes charge of a situation to get something done. There, That's the energy of someone who pulls their weight. Very interesting energy. But this is also the energy of both people being accountable. Okay, if this is a missed opportunity, you both have to, you know, take responsibility. Mm-hmm. Because I'm seeing the Knight of Cups twice. I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles twice. 
and the king and queen of wands and of course right in the heart to the release of anything that no is no longer needed but it has to do with someone you know it's energy of someone who is you know kind of showing someone that you know they their value someone's seeing the value in this they're seeing this as someone who's dependable reliable someone who will pull their weight in a relationship so i like that reassessment it could this could be something that happens after one date and then we have another date but someone's taming the beast but they're also becoming more confident about letting go of trust now the empress so this is an energy also of the empress not giving too much too fast keeping a few things to yourself being a little mysterious wanting this person to discover you so it's okay if they put on the brakes because they're going to just assess this and then ask you out again. Yeah, very nice. This is a person who's now feeling more confident. But the beast is control. Both of you have that energy. See, lifestyle habits, the way someone conducts themselves. It's about having faith. It's taming the beast. It's lifestyle changes. See, you got a person reminiscing here. But it's also an energy of someone longing for love. They're a partner. They want love. But it's about, I feel it's about being vulnerable. You know, that youthful, playful energy, being playful. You know, just keeping things kind of simple at first. But it's an energy of two people being on the same page. Your lifestyles, your habits, you, the way you both conduct yourselves. You both need to tame the beast. Mm -hmm. But be playful, youthful. See, keep it simple. Just kind of slow down. Yeah, see another energy of someone. This could be two people who've been single for a long time too. You kind of got your own way of doing things. You're used to being in control, maybe set in your ways. But it's also an energy of dating in a more traditional way. See, we have two people who've been, I feel, single for a while possibly. Kind of set in their ways. They have their own schedule routine, the way they do things. So there's there's that energy of having to let go of control. I, I feel someone's single life's coming to an other end. This is someone who wants to pin someone down. I can see it because they're looking at the nine of pentacles, the end of being single. This is someone who's kind of, you know, looking at that, seeing the truth, what's going to happen when they're no longer single. They have to give up some control to the other person, but you both do. You know, this is someone's hopes and dreams, you know. Definitely someone who wants a partner, but they're, you know, it's somebody who is reassessing that this is actually someone who will pull their weight. So it's an energy of kind of taking another look at it. It looks like one date, two dates. Yeah, see, we got a person doing a lot of thinking, a little Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is someone assessing again, right? They're kind of looking at this and, this is someone who now feels more confident. They have faith in themselves that they'll make the right choice, but they are a little careful, a little cautious, a little careful what they wish for. <laughs> but it's also the Empress being vulnerable, taking the time, assessing the situation. This is someone who actually will pull their weight. And that's what I feel like both people are looking at too. So much independence here. But I do feel someone here may have ended something with someone else they weren't on the same page with who maybe just wanted to be single or acts like they want to be single because it's about what someone projects here. But it does look like someone ended someone and it could, I do see Scorpio, but every ending leads to a new beginning. So someone's ending something with someone else. They're single, checking somebody out here. And I do feel there's going to be a couple of dates. Let's have a look at the death card. is the ending and the transition. Yeah, see, it's about investing, someone being patient, whether they should invest in this situation or not, or they should end it. But it's also whether this person's invested. What I feel it has all to do with what someone's intentions are. This is someone who doesn't trust easily. Okay, Now, maybe it's yourself that doesn't trust them. But, you know, giving, being vulnerable, giving up that control and, and, and trusting someone isn't easy. But I do feel there's someone here who's kind of reminiscing here. They're longing for love. I can see it. But they have to tame the beast. It has to do with changes in lifestyle habits, the way someone conducts themselves. It's about having faith that they can make the right choice. Yeah, beautiful energy. There it is. See, it's all about communication to talking, communicating. But it's also this person moving a little too slow. It's about meeting somebody halfway. 
they need to kind of hurry up a little bit here or they're going to miss an opportunity. So sometimes putting on the brakes is a good thing because it's all about looking at it, assessing it, looking at the situation. This is someone who's planning something too. I do feel they're coming up with an idea to plan something. Something more traditional, just dating in a traditional way. Now, I do see someone, they dress nice, they look good, they take care of themselves. They're enjoying the fruits of their labor, both of you. So you both bring something to the table, but it's about someone is definitely seeing. They could miss this opportunity if they don't hurry up. So it's about, I feel this person's going to communicate here. Yeah, and it's also someone who wants to know if someone's, you know, if they have other opportunities. It's about multiple opportunities. I do see an energy of things speeding up. Someone here may have other opportunities. Maybe this person does. But I really feel what we have is someone who is seeing this Empress energy. Someone who pulls their weight. It's also an energy of someone releasing baggage from a past relationship. Could be someone who's fairly newly single here too. Yeah, there it is. See, being kind and compassionate, taming the beast. Forgiving the past, being more playful, youthful, having a good time. There's some really bold energy here. But there's also a lot of emotion too. See, this is energy of the Queen of Cups or, and the Queen of Wands. Or part, yeah, well, both because we have the Empress. This is someone who's open, letting someone know that you're open. See, also reassessing, being independent, being a little more vulnerable, being more openly emotional, both of you. So... Yeah, beautiful. See, it's a need to cooperate and compromise. See, looking at the things that two people have in common, teaming up. See, being a team player, someone who actually pulls their weight. See, someone may have ended something with someone who didn't. And that's where I feel. Someone may have ended with a Scorpio or someone who didn't. You may be similar to this person. I do see they're looking at that common energy. But the Empress has so much abundance, so much to offer. So that's why I feel it's an energy of someone who actually pulls their weight. This is what this person's seeing. I actually feel you're both going to see this, but I feel it's saying to just kind of take your time here. Yeah, you know, see, one of you is going to speed up. Now the other person's going to take their time. So like I say, cooperation and compromise. There's always going to be a need to compromise. But this is about building each other up, building up each other's confidence. Yeah, someone's feeling more confident about how they feel, about letting go of control and being a little vulnerable. See, you're manifesting each other. Now we have an emperor and an empress here, two people who've manifested life. You take care of yourselves. You're both very independent. You also have your own habits, lifestyle, structure. So there is going to be a need for some sort of change here. But I think this person's in a hurry. I think they know, they see the truth, they need to hurry up. So somebody generally is, you know. But like I say, they're, it's, it's someone who needs to let go of being too slow, taking too long, dragging their feet, being more vulnerable, asking someone out, showing them that they're, they have good intentions and letting go of the trust. See, to manifest, and it's all going to be about how you communicate. So I see talking, communicating. I actually feel like you could really communicate well with this person. You both have all the tools. You both have everything you need. You're looking at what each other brings to the table. I love this. And uh, often I, I'm not a fan of seeing someone put on the brakes, but with this energy, someone does this and then they see the truth. So they are, they're definitely coming up. They're planning something, planning ahead. So this is all, you know, it's somebody here who has, I feel we've got a person who has kind of two sides to them. They do work a lot. They can't be super spontaneous. And I see that too. So it's about being more spontaneous, more flexible, schedule, routine, if they don't want to be single. But yeah, it's just a lot of thinking here. This is someone very analytical, but it's an energy of that emperor, somebody who is very logical. And this is someone who sees they're not going to get what they want if they don't be more flexible. So it's interesting and more vulnerable. Yeah, the magician manifesting each other by communication here. Two people who actually have everything they need. I feel like this is someone who's looking at this, someone who pulls their weight. 
Someone who's kind, compassionate, someone who's there through thick and thin. See, they need to be like that too. So now this person's in a hurry. They don't want to miss this opportunity. So, but I feel what's happening here is while this person's going through this, now we have the Empress assessing this, whether this person is bringing anything to the table, if they pull their weight. <laughs> it's like you both have probably had relationships it's almost like two people who've had relationships who are actually kind of like almost single because they had to take control. They had to take charge of everything. They had to make all the decisions. They had to make all the plans. They had to plan everything ahead. See, this is what I feel, um, especially the, the King of Swords here. Someone here could be Gemini. I do see a lot of charm, definitely so much charm, ambition, very goal-oriented, both people. So... Yeah, see, there it is. Two people building each, up, each other up, cooperating, compromising, compatibility. Two people who pull their weight, both people. And I do see um, creative energy, manifesting, able to make money. So this is almost feels like that power couple, but it's the king and queen of rods, Leo. Yeah, very interesting energy. Yeah, see, it's planning, preparing for success. This is someone who's seeing, looking at something in the past, why something wasn't successful whether it has to do with you or someone else. They're looking at it. It's all about planning and preparing. It's about going into it, looking at it like it'll be successful by cooperating, compromising, you know. Um, it's an energy of what you both bring to the table. Right? This person sees success. They see victory. But they're looking at something that wasn't, maybe a relationship they had baggage from that wasn't, there wasn't a victory because they had to do everything themselves. So it's an energy of also it's an energy of learned, learning to be independent through experience, I feel here. But this is someone who who's it has to do with having to trust. And it's also trusting themselves, having faith in themselves that they'll make the right choice. So it does look like somebody was in a relationship with someone, but they had to be independent. They didn't have someone who pulled their weight. They had to take charge of everything. And that's a learned experience from relationships where you have someone who doesn't pull their weight. So instead of nagging or arguing, you just take control. You just get things done. So you both have, I feel, experienced this. So this definitely could be successful. You know? Someone soul searching, looking for clues and answers, spending a little time alone thinking. Yeah, they see this being successful. They see a victory, but they also see why, you know, a situation wasn't. And it could be because of the two of you. They may be looking at why something ended because they were trying to control everything. But these are all learned experiences, the school of hard knocks, learning the hard way. But yeah, I could say a little Virgo energy here. It's an energy of, you know, anyone can have this energy, but they're looking for clues. They see this being successful, but they also see why something in the past wasn't. Maybe why they ended up single. But I feel we got someone who's kind of in, you know, they have their own uh, rules, the way they do things. They're very disciplined. So, yeah, they're looking at that. They see, they see, they see this. They, it's like they see themselves, the masculine sees themselves and the feminine and vice versa here because of this mirroring energy. So very nice. Take care. Just kind of, I feel like it's saying just, you know, ease into it. But don't go too slow because this person knows they need to manifest. They need to hurry up or they're going to miss this opportunity because they see that you're somebody who may get a lot of attention because you take care of yourself. You look good. You're independent. So they're looking at this independence energy differently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take care. Bye for now.